In the world of Game of Thrones, forging Valyrian steel is a lost art. As a metal, it's incredibly strong, light and holds its edge forever. To try and create these characteristics in our world, we're using Northern Irish iron ore, meteorite and volcanic obsidian. There's a lot of Northern Ireland in Game of Thrones, so it makes sense to put a bit of Northern Ireland into our Valyrian steel. Valyrian steel seems to be Damascus steel of some kind, folded metal that's been layered up. The alternative is a Persian and Indian crucible steel called Woots. We're taking both these ancient techniques and combining them together. We're smelting a meteorite with wrought iron to create an ultra-high carbon star steel. We're then running Northern Irish iron ore through a furnace and adding the obsidian. Like dragon glass, volcanic obsidian is formed under extreme heat, albeit by a volcano, not a dragon. The resulting dragon bloom is then folded with our star steel. The forged blade is ground to shape. hardened by quenching it in oil. And etched to bring out its distinctive layers. Valyrian steel is supposed to be amazing and having made Northern Irish Valyrian steel, it needs to be tested. The only way to do that is to hand it over to a professional. The blade's razor sharp. Easy work made out of the meat. Flew through all the prep. The blade's beautiful to look at. You can see the folds in the metal would have hammered the steel back onto itself. Cracking, cracking knife. 